Hey everyone, it's Jim Cohn. Coming up next on Circle of Willis, it's Dr. Nicole Prousey, who studies the psychophysiology and neuroscience of sexual responding. Here's a quick preview in which Nicole describes her method for stimulating orgasms in the laboratory. And I apologize right away for my giggling. I tend to giggle under normal circumstances, but when I'm nervous, I giggle a lot. And the scientific study of sex makes me nervous. Uh, quick warning, this, uh, this preview contains genital talk, okay? Okay, here goes. Can we just talk really quickly can, about what they actually do? Yeah, so yeah, for the orgasm. Laboratory. Mm-hmm. How, did, how does a person have an orgasm in your laboratory? So they, because it's, that would be, I would be, I would feel discomfort. I, so they don't obviously just walk in and, and slap, slap down. On, yeah. No, they What's come the in. What's the protocol? You know, we have the typical informed consent. They fill out questionnaires online. They do cognitive tasks at a computer when they're sitting upright, fully clothed. So we have some interaction with them beforehand. And this all occurs in a private room. Uh, we use massage tables, but essentially gynecological exam tables is what we would have used. Uh, also work just as well. And, you know, we get these folks set up. We're trying to measure their brain response during all of this. So we've got the additional complication of you're not just having an orgasm in the lab. We've also got yeah. you tied down to six other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got respiration on you. We've got gamma skin response, electromyography, um, heart rate. You know, we're pulling everything we can because these data are so unique. Oh, we're all in. Yeah, that's all good. In. And uh, for a variety of reasons. So after we get your poor self strapped down <laughs> to this uh, table, essentially, uh, and different levels of strap down, depending on kind of uh, how the instruments fit you, you uh-huh. know, what your preferences are. These people are typically disrobed, or if they have a dress, they might pull the dress up, and uh, we get the vibrator in the vicinity of their genitals uh, and leave the room. How? Uh, so we have this Hitachi magic wand mounted on a microphone stand. Uh-huh. and it's, What's a Hitachi ma- magic wand? Oh, my God. What so, is that? <laughs> it is uh, probably the most popular uh, stimulation device used for sexual enhancement. And it's, it's recommended. A it's a vibrator. Yeah. Okay. And it's, it appears in uh, Becoming Orgasmic, the classic text of treating an orgasmia. So it's been around a long, long time. Okay. Classic. So that's, that, that's attached to a microphone stand? Tape to tape, a microphone tape to stand. Microphones. <laughs> Just try to get <laughs> with bunting to like dampen the vibration <laughs> that is uh, sheared off to the stand. <laughs> hey, how would you do this? Hey, no, come on, man! Look, I told you this I was going to giggle. This is hard science. I'm, I, it, so then the question is like, you've got this thing. Uh, then what? Like, how for the guys? Are we going to try and chase their penis around as they start to get hard with this thing? Like, what's going to happen? And so we decided. <laughs> Seriously, it's going to flip around. It doesn't just stay in one place. What uh, What's going to flip around? The penis. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought you meant. But so I it's have to flaccid be... <laughs> and then it gets hard and it flips upright. See, that the, the penis works this way. It's around now. <laughs> but I, okay, so so wait, so, okay, let's just back up. So the, let's just talk women it's at first. It's a lot first. of hand gestures. I, I can't, there's too many flipping <laughs> devices and, yes. and body parts. So women are in there, you, you set... Yes. So we have... You said the, I'm so sorry I'm laughing so hard. This is not good. This is, it's great. The, you, you set the, the, uh, the um, vibrator... With an attachment with for an the attachment clitoral hood. To, 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 to the what? Uh, for the clitoral hood. For the clitoral... Uh, so there's it, an attachment for the Hitachi yes. magic wand. Yes. That's designed for the clitoral hood. That's where we have applied it. Okay. And you, you hand it to them? Uh, we we wiggle it over to them so it's sitting beside their table. Okay. And we say, we're going to leave the room, and we want you to get this in a position such that, uh, uh-huh. you know, we're going to turn it on so you can kind of sample what the intensity is like. Uh-huh. And we also give them a dial beside them uh, that we like have a rating dial? added. Not a rating dial, but an intensity dial oh, so I see. they have so control. they can set the, yeah. Yeah, we did decide to give up experimental control over that piece because we were really concerned that we would potentially choose vibratory thresholds that were far too high and uh, actually make some people in pain, which obviously we want to avoid. Yeah. Uh, we want them aroused, not annoyed. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. So, I agree. Uh, we give them a brief trial period, and then we turn the device off, and on an intercom from the next room, we say, you know, do you feel like you have it set, or would you like to try again? 
if they want to try again, we'll run the 10 second or... And can uh, you see them? No. Okay, we're in so the, they're, they're in totally private room. Yep, they're totally yeah. private room by themselves at this point. That's good. And yeah, to help facilitate, yeah, we hope, yeah. <laughs> responses. And then the big question comes up, which is, well, then what? All right, now, that's it. Sorry to sort of sort of leave you hang in there, but you'll be able to hear what happens next with the release of episode 11, which will be very soon, I think. In the meantime, I hope everyone makes it through the daylight savings transition this weekend. I know it's always a challenging time for me. And thanks also to my buddy, my pal, Hal Mobius, for composing and performing this little tune we got here in the background. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>